Hey guys, it's Thursday. We've had a great week so far. Let's keep it going with a really fun workout. I actually really like today's workout. It sounds really long and miserable, but I might have to join you in doing it because I like all the movements. We're going to start with a lacrosse ball trap smash. So you are going to grab your lacrosse ball, get on the floor, put it up in that first rib area. Oh my goodness. Maybe start light. Just move that arm a little bit. Keep the bicep to the ear, elbows straight, bridge up across the body. All that good stuff. Man, that arm's going to move well during this action. Um, I would say at least 20 passes each side and you'll, you can stand up and be good to go. Our warm up will get you moving as well. I got my nice fat rope today. This jump rope weighs one pound. I've done a double under with it like once. So our warm up today is going to be starting with 30 seconds of jump rope. Oh my gosh, it is heavy. 30 seconds, 10 alternating world's greatest. So we're going to start by stepping out, get low, 10 times, five each side. Then inchworm to push up. So walk your hands out, give me a push up, walk your hands back into your toes, five of those. You're gonna do that three times. Each time on the world's greatest, do a different version of the world's greatest. So that time I showed you the step out, maybe as you warm up, you go here and you work on stepping out, or maybe you use the twist another time. Change it up, be creative, don't be boring. Oh my gosh, I'm already tired, this is bad. Where is my demoer when I need him? <laughs> David's laughing in the corner over there. Uh, 30 seconds of doves. See if I can do it. One pound jump rope. You guys think I can? Oh. Ow. I did it. 30 seconds. Then grab your dumbbell. We are using dumbbells today. Five and five, single arm, upright row. Five on each side. Switch, keep that elbow high, keep your shoulder back, make sure it's not dumping forward, all that good stuff. Then single arm dumbbell press. Really work on your technique here. Make sure you're not flaring your rib cage. That's clearly not the side I mobilized. See, look how much better that is. Rib cage down, strict press. And then if you have somewhere to hang, we're gonna go scat pull-ups. So you're gonna hang. We're working for this position. So hang, well, I guess I could show it right here. Wherever you can hang, scat pull-ups, all that good stuff. 10 of those, go through that three times. If you don't have somewhere to hang, a couple different options. One, on your wall, put your hands on your wall and reach up and then pull down. Or if you don't have a wall because you're out in the grass or something like that, do 10 scap push-ups, okay? All we're trying to do is get those scaps moving. Then we're going right into our workout. Why? Because the longer the workout, the shorter the warm-up. I know you guys all said that with me. Makes me proud. 20-minute AMRAP. The rep scheme is four, six, eight, ten. Don't ask me why they didn't start with two. They should have started with two. It's weird to start with four. Four, six, eight, ten. Then you go to 12. 14, 16. Do you get it? Okay, cool. Uh, we got toes to bar and then alternating um, dumbbell hang snatch. So on our toes to bar, you have a couple different options. You could do toes to bar. You could do leg raises where you got on your kip. Keep your toes pointed or need a chest. There's another option which would be fabulous. Our scale for that today is gonna to be cross touch sit up because they're even numbers. So that makes it easy. Make sure you're sitting all the way up. If you need to, you sit up first, then you touch because everybody is capable of getting their back off the ground. So keep working on that. Alternating dumbbell hang snatch. Alternating hang, not from the floor. Overhead, switch. Overhead, dumbbell, hang, snatch. 
20 double unders between each round. If you're at the gym, you could use the bike. That was the original workout. They had you do the bike for 10 calories for the ladies, 12 calories for the guys. If you'd like to do that, you can. We do have double unders again tomorrow. So if you are doing open gym tomorrow and you're at the gym and you would like to use the bike, please do. Uh, point of performance today. What I want is if you are doing toes to bar from hanging, I want you to do as many as you can and then drop to the floor. So if I was going to demo on the rings, let's say I'm on number 12. Okay. And I get to eight in a row and then I'm hands fail, grip fails. I'm going to come down and I'm going to finish here so that I can keep the pace and the intensity high. What I don't want is my shoe to come untied. That's right. I got it. Uh, what I don't want is for you guys to be resting a ton between your toes to bar. So if you're doing this workout at the gym or if you have a pull-up bar at home and you're doing toes to bar and you are, your reps are getting lower than like three times coming off the bar. Let's say we get to 12, 14, 16, and you come off the bar twice. Cool. You get to three times coming off the bar, you need to start dropping. So what I'm looking for is big sets. So when you get up to your toes to bar, you do as big a set as you can, jump down, finish them on the ground, go to your dumbbells, go to your jump rope or bike, either way. Hope that makes sense. I love this workout. I'm going to have to do this one. Um, recovery, we're going to smash our forearms because you are going to get super grippy with those big sets. You should not have to put the dumbbell down ever. It should, you should be able to go unbroken on all of those. So your grip's going to be sucking with that. And if you use a one pound jump rope, your double unders are going to not be happy either. You can do forearm smash with a lacrosse ball, barbell. You could even use this dumbbell. Ooh. Or you could do some of this action, scrub back and forth. You could load it Ooh. this way. Now, yeah, see, not fun. All right. We got it. We good? See you guys tomorrow.